Hello again, minions. Wheezy here for another weekly wrap up. Today we're going to talk about what you missed on the channel this week, and we're also going to talk about a rumor that they might be doing a Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remake. Let's go talk about that. Okay, minions, let me get my hair sorted out here. You guys know the drill by now. It's going to cover pretty briefly what you've missed on the channel this week because there's not a lot. Um, I'm going to try not to die. I'm a little bit uh, recovering from a head cold, so please excuse the sexy froggy voice I've got going. Um, the first thing on the channel this week of two <laughs> was I posted a Battlefield Bad Company 2 PC gameplay um, as part of me, like, going and getting my feet wet on some PC games. Uh, I've been kind of delving back into the Battlefield series for the old school games, and Bad Company 2 is one of my favorite Battlefield games. And it's nice on PC to be able to jump back into it because on consoles it's completely dead. There's like no servers. PC, you can still play it. So uh, I played some of that, and I posted a video, and here's a clip from that. I can't see through this incredibly bright light. Oh my. Okay. Oh god, don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Yes! I'm a hero! Get a grenade. Is that a... No, that's not an enemy. What the hell? Artillery. Holy shit. Good god. Woo! Oh, wait, was that a grenade launcher that killed me? Oh. Yeah, they're trying to bring the building down. Go check that one out if you guys like some bad company, too. Uh... Judging by the response to that video, God, I think you guys do like some bad company too. Um, but then after that, uh, just actually today, so it's been kind of a sparse week, um, I uploaded kind of a mashup of some clips from a new series I'm starting on my Storytime channel, which is Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so to go along with that, episode one of my story time of Horizon Zero Dawn is up on my Wheezy Storytime channel. For those of you who aren't aware, I have a second channel. Uh, I started doing some single player gameplays, but it started to kind of overwhelm this channel. So I created a new channel to house all that stuff. So if you guys like some Wheezy action, that's, that's some more of that over there. Go subscribe to that. There's links for all this stuff down below. Um, but I put together a video on this channel that is a cut-up of some clips from the full episode on my Storytime channel. And right now, I'm going to play you a clip of the video that's clips of the video that's on Storytime. That I can see the path they take. Stop telling stories. You need to believe me. My tiny Dorito, it talks to me. I can sneak through. You will not. You hairy old fuck. Let me go. I am Aloy! No, my pants! Why'd you take my bow, motherfucker? Sorry, just toss it down to me. Just toss, just toss me my bow. Just toss it, just, just, oh, it's fine, I'll go without it, it's fine. I'm sure I won't die. Mother, son of a, no, oh, god damn it. What the fuck? No, mother. Oh, boss, you lack of berries picking bitch. Ugh. Oh! Fucking. Erg. Do I go with love? Smart braininess. Or murder sauce. We will be smart. Hadouk! Oh! Who's the man now, bitch? Sassy look. Children, away from there. Back to picking berries. That stings. Alright, so go check that out if you uh if you think that looks pretty funny. The 
I think I, th- I think I'm thinking I might go back through some of my story time episodes because each episode tends to be about 45 minutes to an hour of gameplay, which I know can be a pretty big time investment for a lot of people. Um, and so I'm thinking I might start going back through some of those or as I'm going forward with story times to do more of this where I take some of the highlights and cut them up and maybe post them here on the main channel. Um, let me guys know in the comments below or in those videos if you think that's a good idea. Maybe you guys don't want to, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 21 episodes of that is like, you know, probably close to 15 or 20 hours of video right now. And uh, yeah, not everybody wants to sit through 20 hours of Assassin's Creed. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, also, I made an update to my Storytime channel that is a sneak preview of a new game series for Storytime that I will be starting soon, most likely next week. So if you guys want to figure out what that is, go check out my Storytime channel, the actual channel page, and uh, see if you can figure it out. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's really it for the channel this week. I uh, have been trying to capture some other gameplay. Um, I've been working a lot actually on my uh, piece of software that I use um, to organize in my, my captured gameplays and stuff like that. I really want to kind of streamline my organizing process so that I can make my uh, editing process and my episode development pro- process, especially for Weezy's War College, a lot more efficient. Um, so not as much time in video production this week, but I'm, I'm going to try and spin that back up. Um, but let's get to... A rumor, right now it is pure rumor, I've heard it from like one source who heard it from like one source, which was 4chan, which is probably one of the least reliable sources. And the dog's freaking out. Is there a delivery showing up? 4chan, probably one of the least reliable sources on the internet. Um, But also, sometimes, one of the most reliable sources, just because people can safely post anonymously (laughs) on 4chan shit that they would get in trouble for posting elsewhere. So that said, the rumor that's been floated is that Activision is considering or has potentially already decided to cancel Call of Duty 2021, that Sledgehammer Games, the developer of Call of Duty World War II and presumably the upcoming sequel, Vanguard, are going to be reallocated to a different Call of Duty task, whether it be to help out with Warzone or perhaps to help out with what this rumor also states is that Infinity Ward is being given all the resources that it wants to develop its follow-up to Modern Warfare 2019, which makes me so happy to hear. And that in lieu of that, they may be releasing a uh, re-release, a remaster of the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Those of you who don't know, the Modern Warfare 2 campaign was released during Modern Warfare 2019's life cycle. So through the COD store on there, um, and you still can, you could download the single player campaign from Modern Warfare 2. So at least that much of it's already been done. So, so the question is, is a Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remake preferable to a World War II Call of Duty game this year? And just because I have no interest in the Call of Duty World War II game, I would almost say yes. But that said, the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is, I think, widely considered by many to be one of the best, if not the best, multiplayer experience in Call of Duty history. Although my experience of it, in addition to playing a ton of it and enjoying it a decent amount, was the rampant hacking and bugs and weird things. Like, if any of you guys remember the Javelin glitch, the lobbies where it was like infinite AC-130s, infinite noob tubes, like the Akimbo 1887s, like shotgun secondaries. For those of you who way back in the day saw any of my videos about selling your soul to one man army, where you could basically give yourself unlimited noob tubes with one man army and you could create all your custom classes as one man army, just basically change weapons and perks anytime you wanted. Like, there was a lot about Modern Warfare 2 that if they just do a straight remaster, I'm sure like the bug stuff, like the hack stuff, you would hope that they could fix. But there was a lot built into Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer that was also kind of like awful. (laughs) So it would be interesting to see what they did. If they released Modern Warfare 2 today and fixed most of its major issues and made it the multiplayer experience it never was when the game was out, I don't know, I might kind of love that. The Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered 
that they released. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I played a ton of that, but I did I did buy it and I did play it quite a bit. I've actually posted I think a couple of videos on this channel uh, of that. I know I've included some of those clips in Wheezy's War College, um, and I will be including more in future episodes of Wheezy's War College. So I like COD Four and Modern Warfare Two, like. The weapons, the gameplay, the maps, like I remember a lot of that quite favorably, but more than that, I remember a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. But that said, Call of Duty 4 was like Last Stand, uh, Martyrdom, um, the One Burst M16, the ACOG M40 that was a one-hit kill to any part of your body. And and that remake was good. They added extra guns, so so I'm, I'm intrigued. That could be a good counter or or complement to the presumed new Battlefield game, which rumors said an, a, a release for that was going to be coming this week. Obviously, that doesn't seem to be the case. At least not that I've seen yet. As I'm recording this, Friday the thirtieth. Although, like I said, some of the earlier leaks implied that it was going to be the second, which would be Sunday when they would release that. I don't know. There's going to be a teaser for a ba the new Battlefield game soon, and then a full trailer shortly after that, and then a gameplay reveal shortly after that. So there's going to be a lot of Battlefield information coming soon. That said, Battlefield and Call of Duty, although being competitors, have never been the same game. Like, Call of Duty's always been a lot more infantry-based, a lot more individual soldiers-based. Battlefield's always been the bigger, like, more vehicles, more stuff like that. I've always really enjoyed more of the infantry combat, so even in the Battlefield games, I've always really preferred the infantry-based modes and maps, like Rush or like Conquest on small, you know, Conquest small. Um, otherwise, it just kind of becomes a everyone needs to be an engineer <laughs> or get in a tank or a plane. Um, so this could make things really inter in interesting. It would be like the first time in like 14 years that there hasn't been a full Call of Duty game release in a single year. But times are changing, so I hope this rumor is true, actually. I really hope that we get a Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remake this year alongside a brand new ne proper next-gen Battlefield. Because I still have Modern Warfare 2019 to go back to for some good modern COD, get an old-school COD up there, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. These sound like good, ide good ideas, bad ideas. Seb's losing his shit. He's playing Paper Mario. <laughs> Origami King. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think down below. Oh, speaking of Seb, we played some more zombies. I'm going to do another video of me and Seb playing some zombies. So um, Stick around for that stuff. Like I said, leave your comments down below about this stuff. What do you think? Modern Warfare 2. Do you have PTSD like I do? <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.